Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are all on this journey, this crazy journey to reunite with our twins. And um, I'm in Croatia at the moment, and, and it is so beautiful here. And um, I am going to, the message today is uh, about the ants as well. Because as I was just coming to do this message, um, I'm going to read two letters out of the Divine Love Letter books that I do. And the letters that want to come through are letters number 41 and 97. And as I got to, went to get the books, there were ants, little ants, all over them. And the message about the ant is that they work together in teams to go and basically get there to, to survive, for survival. And um, so the message is, is that also if you think about the ant, they can carry way more than you would ever expect, you know, because they go and they come in packs to go and help each other. And that is the message of the ant today. It is to remember that you are not doing this journey alone. You never walk alone. And there are lots of us little worker ants <laughs> all over the world pulling together to bring our twins home. And so that is the message that wants to come through. So I'm going to read um, two things, letter 41, and then also letter um, 97. So this is 41, and it is. I am expressing how I really feel. I feel that you are me. So everything that you feel, I feel. So when you are doubting and questioning my love for you and how I feel about you, it makes me sad because I think, how can you not know this? I am telling you every second of every day how I feel about you. Our hearts beat for one another. We breathe for each other. I am in you just, you are, uh, just as you are in me. Please know that everything will come together when our time is right. For our secrets to be unlocked from our hearts to share with the world. There is a time already planned for it but it is a knowing in the heart, not a date and time. I love you. Okay, so that is, you know, it's a knowing. It's a knowing in the heart that the, the time is already written, it's already there. And then I want to, oh my goodness. Okay, letter 97. I want to say that I want to be her love lion. I want to roar like a lion and have the courage to tell her exactly how I feel about her. I love you. I love every single part of you. I love the way you feel, the way you make me want to be a better, to be better, to make a better life for us. I love you, that you give me a purpose, a drive, a reason to just be. I'm so in love with you that I feel like a little schoolboy, all nervous and excited at the same time. Just thinking about you makes me have tingles. You mean the world to me. We are each other's whole. We are the ones that make each other roar. I love you. Okay, well, I particularly love that it's the lion because on hashtag grow the flame, <laughs> there's been lots of lions coming up and that's on Instagram. So if you go to um, Divine Love Crystal Grid, um, my Instagram, or if you use hashtag grow the flame, you'll see all of the people that are posting under hashtag grow the flame and it's an amazing way to get loads of syncs and messages. So now I'm going to read from book two and it is letter 41 book two. What don't I want to tell you? I want to divulge my deepest secrets with you. I want to be an open book with you and spill parts of my soul that only you will understand. Only you know what makes me tick, what makes me behave the way I do. You get me. You understand this crazy journey we've been on and it's always coming back to each other. We are on a circle going round and round until we meet in the middle. Concentric circles always coming back together. We never end, we just are always together. Where you are, I am. Where I am, you are. We are each other's stories. That is what I love you most for. 
that you get my story and you are my final chapter. I love you madly, crazily, deeply. Okay, well, just gorgeous that it's like you are my final chapter. Okay, and letter 97 from book two is, I love you with all my heart. Every pore of my body breathes you in. You are the light that shines so bright and shimmery in my soul. You are the light that I am heading towards. The twinkle of a candle in the somewhat gloomy passageway of my mind. I've been keeping myself trapped in my own thoughts. Thoughts of being not good enough for you. Thinking that you wouldn't stay with me. And how could I make you happy? I was putting so much pressure on myself rather than just letting my heart rule my head, letting the love in my heart tell me what to do. Now I am listening to my heart. Now I know I can make this work. We will make this work. Okay, so that is book two. And book three is this. So, it is um, 41 from book three. You know that I'm here in your heart. Our hearts and our souls are entwined together and I can feel the pull of our spirit merging. You have to know that we are already together. The more you place your hands on your heart and just feel me there, the more you allow our union to come in. It's all about the heart. It's the only way to make this happen. There's no greater call to our hearts than to place our hands on our heart and call me to you and feel me there. Then you know the rest will fall into place. You can't hurry love. Okay, so that is 41 and now we go to 97 and it is. There's never a wrong time to contact me always follow your own inner guidance when you follow your intuition it's me it's us it's our souls together giving you the little nudges to follow your heart always do it without fear without doubt instead know that whatever you are guided to do is for a reason so believe it's all part of our divine plan have no expectations don't feel downhearted if I don't respond. Know that it's what's meant to happen. Always trust that it is me and you guiding us home. Our hearts are connected. We are one. One love. Let's bring us home. Oh, one love. Let's bring us home. Um, now, I'm just going to read because the beginning of book three is the song Wonderwall. And uh, when I arrived at this place uh, that I'm staying in, uh, so in the background, like across from uh, the valley, somebody was playing Wonderwall really loudly. And uh, so it's here, it's in book three. The beginning of the book starts with the song Wonderwall. So I'm gonna read the lyrics to it because that, the song that wants to come through is You Are My Wonderwall. And it is, by now, you should have somehow realized what you've got to do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you. The fire in your heart is out. I'm sure you've heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. All the roads we have to walk are winding and all the, le the lights that lead us there are blinding. There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how, because maybe you're going to be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder wall. So the big thing on that song is maybe you're going to be the one that saves me. You're my wonder wall. So that is the message, the big message of today is stick it with it because you're the one that is saving each other's souls. So I hope that helps. Enjoy this amazing view. 
I hope everyone is doing all right on their journey and just sending you so much love. And for all of the people that are, have booked healings, readings and letters from me, um, I'll be doing them next week because I am back in London on Tuesday. So I'll be doing them on Wednesday and from then on. So I hope you have a wonderful day, take care and I hope everyone is all right. So just know that you don't walk this path alone. We are all doing it together. All right, I hope that helps. Take care, bye.